Christmas trees. Get your Christmas trees. It's no use. We haven't sold a single tree. It just doesn't seem like there's any Christmas spirit this year. Don't give up, Dad. But it's already Christmas Eve. After tonight, all these trees will be worthless. Look! Excuse me. Have you gotten your Christmas tree yet? If not, I have some for sale. No. And I'm not buying one. It's been a horrible year. I mean, why would anyone even want to celebrate Christmas? See? I've been hearing that all day. Everyone's Christmas spirit is gone. It's okay, Dad. We'll figure something out. But I really needed to sell those trees. I didn't want to have to tell you. But I wasn't able to pay our rent this week. And to be honest, I don't even have enough money to buy us dinner tonight. This is gonna be the first Christmas that you don't even get a present. I feel like such a bad day. Hey, I don't need any presents. Besides, don't you remember what Mom always used to say? Christmas isn't about receiving. It's about giving. I remember. He used to give us such good advice. And I wish so bad that she was here to tell us what to do. That's it. That's what we need to do. Since we can't sell the Christmas trees, why don't we just give them away? For free. What? No. How will giving away our trees help pay for our rent, or put food on the table, or even buy you a gift? I don't know. But it might help raise the Christmas spirit. Besides, you said it yourself. After tonight, these trees will be worth nothing. So what do we have to lose? Hey, Walter. Hey, Charlie. Is everything okay? Everything is fine, Mr. Frank. We just stopped by to see if you and Mrs. Frank had a Christmas tree. Well, no. It's been a really hard year for my wife and I, and didn't feel the Christmas spirit, you know? I definitely know. But I think I have something that just may lift your spirits. My daughter and I, we brought you a Christmas tree as a gift. What? Oh my gosh. <laughs> Honey, Walter and his daughter brought us a Christmas tree. Oh, hey. Sorry I was cooking. That is so sweet of you, Walter. We almost didn't celebrate, because... <sighs> My wife, she... Hey. It's okay. Thank you very much. This means the world to us. You're welcome. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Bye. Okay. Here goes nothing. Hi, Cynthia. 
That's a nice sweater you need. Oh, thanks. It's for my daughter. Is there anything I can do for you two? We were just wondering if you've gotten a Christmas tree yet. No, I decided not to celebrate this year. I just don't have a reason to anymore. I, I just haven't had the Christmas spirit. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that, but we brought you something that just might cheer you up. Your very own Christmas tree. Really? You got this for me? This reminds me of my daughter. Never mind. You have no idea how much this means to me. Thank you. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. We only have one more tree to give away. Yeah, but who should we give it to? Um, what about her? But that's the lady that turned me down earlier. It's okay. I'm sure she needs it more than anybody. Okay. If you say so. Excuse me, miss. I already told you, I wasn't in the spirit to celebrate Christmas, let alone buy a tree. I know. I'm sorry. But I'm not here to try to sell you a tree. You are? Then what do you want? I want to give you one instead. As a gift. You're giving me, a complete stranger, a gift. But I don't understand, why would you do that? A wise person once told me, Christmas is not about receiving, it's about giving. Wow. I love that. I didn't expect this. I've, I've had a really hard time lately. I don't want to get into it, but I'll never forget this. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas to you too. Can I help you put it in the car? Sure, thank you. Well, we did it. We gave away all the trees. Don't you feel better now? What's wrong, Dad? I just feel bad. We don't have any food to eat. I don't know what to do. Mr. and Mrs. Frank, what are you two doing here? We wanted to bring this. It's a special dinner that my wife made just for you and Charlie. This means more than you realize. Thank you so much. No. Thank you. This has been a, a really hard year for us. You see, 
My wife has cancer. And she hasn't been doing too well. So we decided not to celebrate Christmas this year. But when you brought us that tree, you made us realize no matter what we're going through, we should always celebrate the times we have together. So you see, thank you for helping bring back our Christmas spirit. Oh no. I'm so sorry, Miss Frank. But I'm so happy that you guys decided to celebrate. Merry Christmas to the both of you. Merry, Merry Christmas. Christmas. Here you go. <laughs> See, Dad? I told you everything was going to work out. You were right, honey. What's wrong? This is going to be the first year that you don't get anything for Christmas. I'm so sorry. Cynthia? I, I just wanted to stop by and, and give you this. It's a Christmas gift for Charlie. But I thought this was for your daughter. Well, it was. But what I didn't tell you was that I lost my daughter last year. This has been one of the hardest Christmas I've ever had. You see, ever since she was a little girl, I would knit her a sweater every Christmas. She would get so happy. And this year, even though she isn't here anymore, I couldn't get myself to break that tradition. I spent the whole day crying, thinking about her. But when you gave me that Christmas tree, it made me feel like I had my daughter with me again. So you see, I wanted to just stop by and Thank you for giving me my Christmas spirit back again. Oh my God. I'm so sorry, Cynthia. I had no idea. It's okay. I don't talk about it much. Thank you for the gift. You're welcome. And Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas to you too. Wow, I wasn't expecting that. Well, this is for you. It's a Christmas present. Wow, this is so beautiful. See, I got a present after all. Now come on, let's see. I'm so excited. Everything is just working out so... Shoot. What's wrong? The rent. I wasn't able to pay it. <sighs> Today was the deadline. It's okay. I'm sure the landlord won't say anything on Christmas Eve. Come on, see. Hey, Walter. You have the rent money? No. I'm sorry, Hank. 
I just need a little more time. Your time is up. I need you to pack your things and go. Now. But it's Christmas Eve. Please. Don't do this. I need you out. Right now. Dad, is everything okay? No. We have been kicked out of my apartment. I knew we shouldn't have given away all those Christmas trees. <laughs> Come on, Dad. Please don't lose your Christmas spirit. Something will work out. Honey, it's freezing. What's taking you so long? You. What are you doing here? I, I live here. You two know each other? Yeah. He's the guy I was telling you about. The one that gave us the Christmas tree. Him? Wow. Thank you so much. You have no idea how much you helped us. Help you? What do you mean? You helped save our marriage. You see, this year has really taken a toll on our relationship. We've been so stressed out and fighting all the time. Things got so bad that we decided to get a divorce. When you saw me earlier, I was on my way home to sign our divorce papers. But when I brought home that Christmas tree that you gave me, it just brought back so many amazing memories we've had. We weren't going to celebrate Christmas this year. But because of you, we've changed our minds. We spent hours <laughs> reminiscing on special moments and just having a good time again. So much so that we called off the divorce. So you see, thank you for saving our marriage. <laughs> wow. You're welcome. I'm glad I could help. You know what? Forget about the rent. Consider it paid in full. Really? Are you sure? Yes. Because a wise person once told me that Christmas isn't about receiving, it's about giving. So, Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas to you too. I can't believe what just happened. This is the Christmas miracle. We definitely have an angel watching out for us. I know. Your mom would be so proud of you. Hey, Darman fam. So you see, we're not just telling stories, we're changing lives. And when you share my videos, you're helping to change lives too. You really can manifest the life that you desire. And even if you're struggling right now, your struggle is your story and your story is your superpower. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.